how much of your music, you know, lyrically is, is driven by these experiences? Oh, a tremendous amount of it. I mean, if anything, like like people that are strong enough to maintain are the unlucky ones. Mm -hmm. The guy who who has to surrender, who gets the shit beat out of him. I mean, for me, desperation was a gift. And if I had not like gone super down into the addiction, uh, if the relationship had not been uh, with the band uh, just a, an utter nightmare, I would still be there. I'd be touring with those motherfuckers, playing those songs, and just having a shitty job that happened to so, involve. So you're one of those guys that that really has to hit a, a pretty dramatic bottom, uh, you know, re realistically and 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 also emotionally before you. Yeah. I don't know if I believe in the idea of bottoms because, like, the, there's always a deeper. Yeah, I mean, it's death is the bottom. <laughs> well, no, but you know what I mean. Like, I find that you, you know, if I don't get myself into a good froth of of self hatred and yeah. spite, yeah. Uh, or or like you know that that feeling like you know if something new doesn't shake out of me, I'm gonna have to you know cut my skin open and crawl out of it. Right. That that my creativity is fueled by that. Well, for me. Um, the, the, it's okay. I got nothing. You got nothing? <laughs> you got nothing. Lost the game! <laughs>